Hi everyone. For this demo, I want to show how I can have connectivity to on-premises network using FQDN DNS resolution. I have configured an OCI VCN for this demo and connected it to an on-premises data center with its own private DNS domain name. On-premises, there are two DNS servers, one for listening and one for forwarding DNS queries. Also, four test resources are on-premises with their own FQDN resolved by the on-premises DNS system. In this demo, I only show the OCA configuration changes, not the on-premises configuration. Before making any changes, I verify the response of all on-premises host FQDN using NSLOOKUP. I am using the compute host in the Phoenix DNS demo VCN for this. As you can see, all DNS lookups are failing. To apply the changes in this video scope, go to Hamburger menu, Networking, and Virtual Cloud Network. Select the Phoenix DNS demo VCN. Click on the DNS resolver link. Now we need to create a forwarder endpoint by going to endpoints and clicking on create endpoint. Provide the name, choose a subnet for the endpoint and choose the endpoint type. In this case, a forwarding endpoint. Optionally, you can type in the desired IP address for the endpoint. Now I can click on create endpoint. Now I can create a listening endpoint just like the forwarding endpoint. The only difference is that the endpoint type it will be a listening endpoint. To finish the OCA configuration, we must create a rule to forward the on-premises DNS domain name to the on-premises DNS listener. For this configuration, I must go to Rules and click on Manage Rules. Now I will select the condition as domains, add the on-premises domain name hybrid-dns as a domain, Select the source endpoint, the DNS forwarder endpoint we created earlier. In the destination IP field, add the on-premises DNS listener IP. And finally, I can save the configuration. Once the status become active, I can return to the compute instance and redo the failed tests. After creating the forwarding endpoint, and the rule to forward hybrid-dns domain to the on-premises DNS, everything works as expected, and the tests that failed earlier are now working. This concludes our demo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.